Hi friends, Linda here. I am very, very tired. I'm gonna say it as it is. Um, produce is coming out of my ears, out of the garden. And my friend was just over and she took 1.7 kilos of kale from my garden for her rabbits because I just can't keep up. I found a strawberry that looks weird. Looks looks really strange. It has like a growth on the side. I've never seen something like that. Weird. Midsummer is approaching really fast and I need to make shashliks because this year I'm gonna celebrate it by Latvian traditions which means shashliks uh, which is like a shish kebab basically so I'm gonna start marinating it. It's five days till midsummer. And then I'm gonna make rustles probably and I'll take you on the trip and then we're gonna decorate the house as well together. Uh, it's gonna be fast paced all day. I've been to work all day and I'm really, really tired. I'm gonna put the recipe in the description of the video. Don't worry, I will just go with it. I have already cut the onions outside and I had a good cry doing it, as always. This recipe, I have been making it for years now and it's really good. I have 1.4 kilos of pork, um, gammon joint. It's unsmoked, but I just like the meat. You can use any kind of meat. Like, you can use the shoulder joints, etc, uh, etc, et but it kind of needs to be pork. It is very, very tasty, this recipe. My family always has it for midsummer. And then the meat, you just need to cut it in chunks about four centimeters by four centimeters, so an inch and a half by inch and a half. You knew they have rolled it up. Oh well. This is gonna be a very short video. I'm just gonna make this recipe and then I'm gonna go and clean my living room because it is a day that I clean. I try to clean one room um, a day. It keeps me on track. Like only like 30 minutes in the room and because I get so distracted uh, all of the time it seems to be keeping me in track, on, on the track. I'm just gonna shove it in there. So today is the living room day. Yesterday was my bedroom day. <laughs> And I've been doing laundry today as well. It's been good and it seems to work at the moment. Take like the white bits out from the meat because you don't want to eat, eat it and then it gets stuck in your teeth and everywhere else. My birds are going a bit crazy at the moment but it's all fine. I found a way how to distract them for a long period of time, which is grass. <laughs> the meat has been cut. We're gonna add onions. Usually for one kilo of meat you add 800 grams of onions, but because I have 1.4 kilos of meat I will add 1.2 kilos of onions. So it's just a ratio. I'm gonna start crying very, very soon. These were outside. And I just kept them there because I just can't manage the, the smell. <laughs> and now we just mix it all together and kind of like squish it with your hand so that the onions start releasing their juices. I do like onions. I actually love them, but they just always make me cry so much. It's it's unreal. 
Mark comes in here and he's completely fine and I'm here like tears streaming down my face not being able to do anything crying I find it easier to do it outside I have seen people actually wear like hoodies and like a lid of the like a baking pan on <laughs> they can still see through but like apparently it's better I have seen people wear um, swimming goggles <laughs> and apparently that works as well that's perfect now the hardest bit is mixing the dressing there are so many different parts we're gonna start with 70 milliliters of oil olive oil or rapeseed oil then we're gonna add 70 milliliters of water and this thing won't mix <laughs> and then we need to add 70 milliliters of vinegar white white vinegar but I do not have white vinegar I have this thing called essence which is not 9% like normal vinegar no this is 70% this is like the stuff that you mix to get the vinegar <laughs> So I need to dilute this and I'm thinking I'll probably dilute it in in this having 50 milliliters of water and then I'm gonna add 50 more milliliters of this because I do like my my thing very strong and vinegar I just like the vinegary taste eyeballing it don't drink this kids and don't drink breathe it in either it literally burns your nostrils I have done it once and it wasn't a pleasant experience now we just need to do the spices we have two lemons that we need to chop and add in we have mixed peppercorns it asks for red sweet peppercorns but i don't have any so i am usually just putting in like mixed ones and usually asks for two teaspoons but that's ground ones so i'm just putting those in and i'm gonna put more the last time i made it the batch was kind of a bit weak one teaspoon of black pepper but i'm just gonna add another one because i like spices three tablespoons of sugar uh, that will give it sweetness and two teaspoons salt mix it all up And add to the pot. Last thing I need to do the, the lemons and I just usually just cut them and add them as, as like this just slices. Why am I cutting it in my hand? Mm. <laughs> I can cut them faster like this. And there's less likelihood that I'm gonna chop my fingers off doing this, you know? I am so excited about Midsummer. I can't explain it. It's just... I think I'm homesick. And we do this with my family every year. We do not make shashliks because we can buy it already pre-made. But I can't do it here. So we are making it. Yeah, as I said, first couple of times it was pretty grim what came out because I was still experimenting with the recipe. But now I think I've gotten it quite well. So you just coat it all in and the liquid will be quite down. It's quite far down. But don't worry about it, it's gonna be fine because onions release a lot of moisture as well and it will all kind of 
sink. <laughs> I know it doesn't look appealing at the moment, but oh, it smells so good. The one thing I can't do is like, it really, I really, really like it. When I cut onions for a couple of hours afterwards, my hands smell of onions and it's weird. I just love the smell of it and I'm just sitting there sniffing my hands going like mm, onions <laughs> it's like when you walk on the street you know and, and there's like people making burgers and baking onions and the, the smell permeates everything oh, just so good so good does anyone else have the same kind of like fascination with onions Doesn't this look amazing? Smells good. Smells really, really good. The last thing what we need to do... Plate. Upside down. Push it down. These are my rocks that I use for cooking and weighing down things. I picked them up on the side of the road sterilize them and wash them and everything and now I just keep reusing them to hold things down. Lid on and now it stays on the room temperature outside of the fridge. You can put it in the fridge as well if you want to but I usually just leave it out here for about four days before it's ready and because the moisture will rise and it will cover all of the meat you just need to ensure that the meat is underneath the plate and underneath the liquid and it's all weighed down the vinegar and sugar amount you will not let it spoil if the meat is poking out yeah you you might have some spoilage but as as long as the meat is underneath the vinegar yeah no problem and it will infuse and all of those tastes will just oh so good just wanted to show you the radishes that we pickled well not pickled fermented and they're completely red I had some yesterday and they're really really nice there's definite acquired taste to it because I had never had anything fermented but I like it I I will I don't know how to store this if you could let me know this once it's fermented can it stay outside of the fridge or do i need to put it in the fridge please let me know um because i do not want this to spoil because i don't think i will be able to eat it as fast as possible mark doesn't like it so there's only me that's eating it then <laughs> and i i have been snacking on it from time to time and is it bad if i keep opening the lid please let me know if you know thank you i ordered some more tomato clips and they just arrived i am gonna be off to my allotment within like five minutes walkie walkie it's good to walk keeps me fit because my tomatoes are extending too far now and they are growing we had a couple of thunderstorms and it's great that i clipped them like I, I chopped the bottom leaves off because we get a lot of fungal, fungi infection and blight, which is not great. And then afterwards, I'm gonna be editing this video because I need to post it tomorrow and hang out with you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today. And I'm, it wasn't a very long one. We made shashliks. It's gonna be ready by midsummer. I will show you how I usually cook it because it's on a pan and usually you have the skewers and you do it on skewers over the flame and oh I don't have enough room to have a barbecue maybe in my next house it may be in my next dreams but we live at the moment and I can't think about like futures I'm literally just like live in the moment you know the little things bye friends